how many friends do you have and ever notice that the people you come in contact with that transforms your life from a negative to positive or positive to negative and among the friends that you have how impactful have they been to your life so today we are jumping into this topic about the altar call man we have two altars the evil altar and the righteous or holy altars so we want to analyze things based on these two altars and find out how impactful can these altars be in your life so today's topic is all about the altar called man so the men around your life are moving altars so my guest or my co-host <laughs> the person you're familiar with so today you're going to jump and discuss this topic about uh, the altar call man and i'm going to hand over to him so that he can take us through this uh topic of the day so welcome mm -hmm. mr man thank you very much those who are joining us today whatever you are watching us mm -hmm. thank you very much we appreciate your time we really appreciate creating your own time to view mm -hmm. listen and even to send a comment we really appreciate mm -hmm. your likes are much more important to us because they encourage us. Your feedback is as equally as your likes. We love them. And those who are said in comments, please, we would request that uh, you put them on a clearer way mm -hmm. so that uh, whoever is reading can be able to understand so that it can give the right feedback, feedback on the comment. So today we are drawing right, uh, directly to the altar code man. Mm -hmm. Remember, this life you cannot work without men mm -hmm. you need men around you either they transform your life to the positive or transform your life to the negative right now let's look at the people who surround us mm -hmm. you know life itself has a way of draw, uh, uh, moving itself life itself is moving Mm. then you need men who can hold your hand or who can be the stepping stone to your destiny mm -hmm. when you talk about destiny is when uh, it's, a, it's a place where you will achieve what god what the purpose that god has called you here on earth and this purpose mm -hmm. is mostly in the uh, interact is between interaction between you and the men mm -hmm. when god wants to bless one you will use a man to release the blessing mm -hmm. if the devil wants to destroy a man he will also use a man, man. to destroy that man mm -hmm. and now we are asking this big question what kind of a friend do you have and the people that you have have they impacted your life positively mm. or negatively have you ever realized by the way have you ever realized that uh, there are people when they come into your life, mm. you are progressing well, mm -hmm. be it a man, be it a woman. Mm -hmm. When they get into your life, your life gets a turn around, either a good turn around or bad turn around. Mm. Now, there are, this, there, there are people with this experience whereby they say, the moment I met so and so, mm. my life was bad. It mm -hmm. turned transformed the, to the good side. Then these people, they have testimony of them meeting those people mm. and they are happy and they appreciate that interaction with those men mm. now there are other people who are regretting mm -hmm. having known a certain person in their lives mm. because they were doing well the moment they entered their lives their lives changed to bad they had uh, others had cars when they met their friends because they are no longer there mm. others who are blessed when they met their friends mm. the blessings gone Others who are wealthy, when, wherever they met their friends, the wealth went away. Disappeared. So it is very key for us to look around, mm -hmm. measure the kind of people that we live with. How do we measure these people? Mm. The measure of the people is not according to their appearance. No. The measure of the people is about what they carry inside them. Mm -hmm what they carry inside them we call the spirit mm -hmm. and the spirit that one bears mm -hmm. determines the outcome of whatever will be released from that man mm. remember jesus said 
there is no corrupt tree mm -hmm. that can give forth a good fruit. Good fruit. Yeah. yeah. Even you come today, the we have we have gone to the era of uh, what do we call them? What this uh, the, the 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 trees that are they are the need to weeds herbs. This uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you take a, a a tree, you take an avocado plus another avocado, you create another breed or graft. Exactly. We are in like this era of grafting. Mm. Even if you try to graft. You try to graft one plus another one mm. to make another something which is different mm. from the, 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 the two. You create something. Mm. Now, when we talk about a spirit, you yourself, you have a spirit inside you. Then, when you meet with a friend, you join your spirit with another spirit. Then, if these spirits are not compatible, mm. then the outcome will be a negative thing or an effect uh, uh, with something an effect mm -hmm. remember two cannot work together unless they agree mm -hmm. and this agreement is what brings out the output mm -hmm. so now when you talk about this man there are there is a person who you meet when you had nothing but when you come together and they join us together mm -hmm. you start progressing mm -hmm. i've seen such kind of people yeah have you have you seen such quite a number exactly a lot of... so these people they carry a certain spirit mm. inside them you might be what you might be lacking might not be a uh, money might be the spirit mm -hmm. of progress of prosperity what you are lacking mm -hmm. but when you meet with someone with the spirit of prosperity mm -hmm. and you all add together then it means that the spirit of prosperity from this man mm -hmm. will be transferred to you because mm -hmm. you share the same same spirit mm -hmm. so you have to agree now you have to submit to this person then this person now is ready to help you mm -hmm. then what you generate you generate an output mm -hmm. so the biggest question back what kind of friends do you have have they impacted negative or positive mm. back to you yes as you have earlier mentioned that the effect that a person will give to your life is basically based on the spirit behind the person yeah. if the person is submitted to the spirit of this world or the devil mm -hmm. Actually, what they'll bring out of you is the spirit of this world, yeah. which might be greed, selfishness, anger, uh, immorality, and all that. Yeah. Because that's the spirit in charge. Mm -hmm. The flesh does not get in charge. Mm -hmm. Actually, they say the flesh does not care whether you go to heaven or hell. Yeah. It because it will be left here. Exactly. But the soul has a determinant yeah so the spirit behind the soul is all determined where you go yeah the ultra cold man is basically about the people in your life that have uh, given themselves out to different altars and these altars are speaking in their life that when you see them you just see this is a christian this is a not secular person this is not a christian and th that's why you find that a man is a, a moving altar because they're called the body of the temple of the holy oh spirit mm. so if uh, i carry holy spirit i will always radiate the power of the holy spirit to people around me Very if true. your friends have that power of holy spirit around their life they radiate it towards you and that's why an unbeliever will be transformed to a believer when they meet a believer mm. not as the same person in the same world they are in exactly and so these these are power that is in a man and a man that subject under a man give gets what it's in that man mm. the power of contact mm. the uh what do you call it anointing of association mm -hmm. so there are men who can speak things into your life and they become mm -hmm. because they themselves have dwelt in that secret place to have that encounter good mm -hmm. example like uh, uh moses when he came from god he was a, a an altar from god so he had the power of god in him and exactly. that's why he could decree and it be becomes yeah so the people will speak good things in your life and it just happens mm -hmm. somebody will tell you you are getting out of here and you're going to get this 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 and this mm -hmm. an altar is subject to an altar yeah so the altar that is under god will subject the spirit of god mm -hmm. an altar that is under the devil is subject to the spirit of the devil yeah, exactly. and that will be in charge mm -hmm. so you don't just see people influencing you and you be and you react in line to that because there's your spirit is already a captive to theirs mm. so if a man is working in the altar of god they will always radiate the things of god mm. 
and that's why when we are asking you how have they this friend impacted your life mm-hmm. it's all about the result the fruit that they radiate exactly are they the same people who will pray for you mm-hmm. bring you closer to god mm-hmm. or bless you mm-hmm. are they the same people who will who will bring you to a club environment mm-hmm. get you drunk confused get you or molested or get involved in vices that will regret later mm-hmm. Th- that's those are fruits yeah right. so yeah. an altar call man you have to understand that each and every man walking under the sun mm-hmm. is an altar and that's why the spirit lives in there the spirit does not live uh, in the air he lives in an altar yeah so as much as you are an altar moving altar moving temples we carry altars mm. so the altars you have given power in our life is the one that speaks okay mm. wow so basically you yourself you are the determining factor mm. on the life that you live then those who surround you or those that you relate with now they matter on the other hand whether you will continue to grow up mm. or you grow down mm. and remember when god wants to use you he will ensure that you are fully equipped and when you are fully equipped he will ensure that your life is transforming another person's life mm-hmm. that's where god mostly will give you a testimony a testimony is after a trial and a test then now you come out a victorious mm-hmm. then god will use your victory to connect you to another person who is passing through a challenge for you to equip that person to mm-hmm. see the victory that god has done to your life mm-hmm. into their lives mm-hmm. so in other words god will give you the power to ensure that every word that you speak to another person mm-hmm. it impacts the person why reason being that if that word does not impact a person's life then it's a void word mm. and remember i've seen so many people who have failed not because they were supposed to fail but because of associating themselves wrongly the wrong people wrong remember workers. today if you come out from a good a, a, a good altar mm. then you go to an evil altar mm. that is from godly altar you go to devil's altar that mm. is evil altar mm. then you try to mix the two you are the one who will suffer because you'll suffer in between mm. remember you yourself you are a kingdom that is fighting another kingdom then your victory is in your kingdom through whoever gives you that power to win mm-hmm then he expects you to if you go on the other side you go to transform mm. those who are in that kingdom mm. to ensure that their lives they come out from that darkness into the light you bring them to the real light exactly mm-hmm. so now the power lies in between you mm. and mostly the people who surround you have you ever realized that there are so many people who are afraid mm. of christ in front of people definitely they they feel shame yeah. and uh, they'll not accept who Christ is because they 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 are in an altar that is suppressing that presence mm-hmm. suppressing that name because how they are looking at you it mm-hmm. makes you feel like no this is not the right place mm-hmm. if your spirit will ever tell you this is not the right place it means you're in another altar that is not the true altar exactly and that's why altars speak to altars mm-hmm. if altar speaks and tells you this is not right why will somebody come to church and say pastor pray for me mm-hmm. or meet you on the road and say and look at you and say that's a pastor mm-hmm. because that altar is established exactly. it's visible it's yeah. open yeah and somebody will just look at you and say hey when you leave you uh, because that altar mm-hmm. it's visible you know, every kingdom knows how to modify their altars exactly so if your kingdom the devil's kingdom knows how to modify you if you're a good guy a good guy with good face god created image beautiful handsome and then the devil comes and now modifies that altar to his liking mm-hmm. uh bad boy the word they like using beachy girl mm-hmm. the word the bad girl so you appear as the altar of badness yeah. the altar of fear the yeah. altar of a uh, rough guy yeah where god wants you to be 
peaceful, radiating the glory. But the devil wants you to radiate fear in the eyes of men. Mm-hmm. So the devil will always create you as an altar of him. Mm-hmm. And Jesus will also create you as an altar of him. And that's why the people, Christ Christian will always come to you with a peace looking body. Yeah. And the people from this other side will come with the bad boy, bad girl looking body because that's how the altar is defined. Mm-hmm. So if you are an innocent person and you join yourself to that group, mm-hmm. you will automatically become one that altar. Yeah. Align to that altar of that person. Yeah. And if you align to this other altar, become. But talking about altar because altar is where we bring our needs, our request and we get answers. Mm. People have dedicated themselves to be altars. Like somebody will say, for me, my life will be an altar. Whoever I shall meet in my life, I will never live their life the same again. I want to the name of the Lord to be seen in their life yeah. as transformed. Mm-hmm. I remember as my own personal story, I have, that's the prayer I made for myself. And said, in my entire life, I want to be a transformative place. That whoever shall become my friend will not remain as they are. Mm-hmm. And whenever we meet different people, a friend of mine who used to have, have rasters, huh? mm-hmm. and uh, when rasters, for me, I won't say it's not bad. It is because it changes you from who you are to what God intended you to be to something else. Mm-hmm. So when we met, I told him, I'm not going to force you to shave your rasters, mm-hmm. but I'm giving you three months. You will shave it without me telling you to shave them. Mm-hmm. In the span of that three months, that guy shaved mm-hmm. the rasters. Mm-hmm. And today when we meet and talk, I'll be like, hey, but they talk and could turn away. Huh? Since the day we met, mm-hmm. my life has changed. Mm-hmm. I went I went away, did this, did this, did this. And this is where God has blessed me now. Wow. Since the day we met. I've had a lot of friends in the past, but my life was still stuck. No purpose, no direction. But when I talk to you, I get purpose direction mm-hmm. and you encourage me to become a better person. Yeah. That is a result of you dedicating yourself and saying, I will be an altar that whoever I shall meet, I wow. will affect them. So it means that uh, if you are an altar, mm. you are a living altar. Mm-hmm. You are not a dead altar. As long as you are alive, be it you are on God mm. or be it on, you are on, on the devil, mm. you are a living, a living altar. altar. You are alive. Remember, uh, you remember this the time that uh, uh, was it Aaron or mm. J- Joshua who said, I and my family, Joshua, shall, Joshua, I and my family will serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. He made a decree because he knew who mm. he is. Mm-hmm. Then he knew the purpose that God has called. Mm-hmm. Then he knew the moment he will stay like this. There are out the outside there. There are people who will be impacted mm-hmm. because of that decision. Mm-hmm. There are times that we need to make a decision. Then you decide, I be a life altar of Christ, a transformative life. Because that life, mm-hmm. remember, because the power is inside you, then the moment you start speaking, you release the power. The power. Right now we are we are here doing the discussion. Mm. But anyone who is uh, sick mm. and is watching this video, mm. the moment you start now praying and release the grace of God and the power of God, mm. the power of God will touch that person mm. because we are a life altar. Mm-hmm. And now God is using this altar called man to show he, to show forth his power and his greatness. Mm-hmm. So it means that when you are on evil altar, the devil will use you mm-hmm. to show his manifest of his works. Mm-hmm. Father is agenda. Uh-huh. When you are on God, God will use you because you are a living altar mm. now to show for the light mm-hmm. and bring life to other people. Automatic. Exactly. Automatic. But when you are in Christ and you are a dormant, because there are people, there are people that you meet. But instead of progressing, you are not progressing, you are, you are not retrogressing. <laughs> you are not progressing and you are not retrogressing. Yes. You are just there. Stagnant. Yani, there are two. The things that you just, and you, things seem to be moving on. But the moment you sit down, you sit down and you start now checking around your life, mm. now you see, hey, I've, not, I've never made any progress here. I've not gone back and I've not made any progress. You are just, you are just there. Mm. 
No, so it means that you are somewhere in between a stagnation whereby you are not moving forward and you are not going for, uh, backward. So now it is the now the, the power inside you is the power is there, but now it cannot work because there's not been, been given the direction to work. Expression. Yeah. It it happens because you know in the world there's two spirit. Mm -hmm. You can say two the progress and non progressing. Huh? Yeah. And there's a western spirit. A Western spirit can lead you to wrong decisions to mm -hmm. waste your life. Huh? Mm -hmm. And a Western spirit can also stagnate you that you don't progress. Okay. Western spirit can operate in two. So you mm -hmm. pass time. You mm -hmm. waste your time. And uh, a spirit of progress will always go with time. Yeah. Because it will always show you what next. It will always ask you what next. We are here. Thank the Lord. What next? Yeah. But the spirit of, of uh, Western will come in form of friends who will want to use your money to maybe let's go to club and drink let's go have party let's go do this that's a western spirit another one <laughs> another western spirit is a spirit of stagnation mm -hmm. it will it will make you not to progress in whatever you will always see everything is okay so uh, i think there are so many people outside there mm -hmm. who are going through this yeah. okay you have people but all they do is to benefit from you. What you can look, if you want to analyze your life very well to understand who are affecting you, if you have so many friends in your life, mm -hmm. you, the chances are you have the biggest percent of wasters around your life. Exactly. If you have fewer friends, these are people who are motivated to grow. Mm -hmm. Because growth does not carry a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Too many opinions destroys direction. Yeah. But a few, a few concentrated opinions and ideas build a strong path. Sure. That's why people with vision and direction in life have two to three friends, mm. people close to them. The rest are just the community, but uh -huh. not the inner circle. People who have progress, you will not find them with more than a mark of four friends. Mm -hmm. These are the, the four stretcher bearers. Yeah. One who will, will call one in matters family, call one matters business, call one in matters faith, call one in matters leadership. Mm -hmm. These are the stretcher bearers. But if those four pillars are not catered for, you'll find somebody with a waster spirit of waster looking for you. It will give you so many friends that will make your life seem comfortable and okay. Whereas okay. you are going backwards or staying the same. Are these people, uh, the people that uh, they are just there, not because they are friends. Mm -hmm. They are there because of what they gain. They are on a mission. You. Actually, they don't know what they are doing there. If if they are really asked, <laughs> what do you do with Emmanuel? <laughs> or what do you do with Kevin? They'll uh, say, uh, uh, he's just a person. Ni jamaa tu hapo hivyo tunakuanga tunaye kupitisha time. Ni rafiki tu kupitisha tu masa. Ni wanajua tu kuongelea na watu lakini. There's nothing tangible going on between the friendship because friendship builds each other. That's why people say good friend is one who stick closer than a brother mm -hmm. because brothers will always want family to grow mm -hmm. so if a friend comes that is not part of a brother mm -hmm. he will not want you to grow because there's nothing you're fighting yeah. running towards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow so these people they matter a lot in your in one's life mm -hmm. and as you come to maybe to the end mm -hmm. of the podcast mm -hmm. i would like to make this request have you ever asked yourself how many people can be available when you are in a problem? Anyone who can never avail themselves when you have a problem, mm. they, are, they are no of importance in your life. Reason why? Those who are around you because of what they gain, the, mo the moment they stop gaining from you, they mm. will go. And it is my prayer. And I know that I'm speaking to someone. It is my prayer that you realize the people who surround you. Mm. Know the kind of people and the kind of spirit they carry that surround you. If you see that there are people who are just they are just there to benefit from you. I have another friend of mine who told me something mm -hmm. that uh, people are just benefiting and they are just there because of what he gives them. Then I told him, very simple and clear. The moment you lack this, you'll never see them. Mm -hmm. So it is the highest time now you start uh, separating yourself from them. Filter. And realizing mm -hmm. and uh, coming to know all the right people you have. So that you can make the right decision. Mm -hmm. Remember, in a companion of many people, we see that there are friends and there are enemies. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
But there are there are people who are close to you. In a family a, a company, you are all there because you are working. Mm -hmm. Not because of friendship, neither you are an, an enmity. No. Mm -hmm. It's because you are working. And if you are there to look for friends, you might be mistaken. And you might cry. Mm -hmm. And be disappointed at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Because everyone has it's, got their opinions. A, we are all in a mission. Yes. And you are there because of the money that you are putting on your pocket. Mm. So minus the money, you cannot wake up to go there. So what does that, what does this one tell you? It tells you that despite that you are interacting with the people day by day, you need to realize the limit. Mm -hmm. And they know this and this and this, they are just people. Friends at work. Mm. Then go back to the drawing board. We have said we have four, four pillars. Look for these four people. In case you have, mal you, have you have a problem, who can you, can you conduct? In mm -hmm. case your family has got an issue, who can you conduct? In case you need a spiritual uh, attention, who can you conduct? In case you need the financial assistance, who can you conduct? Mm -hmm. Because if you find that you have several such kind of people in your life, then you are good to go. And it is my prayer that the Lord will help you to have the right people who mm -hmm. will build and ensure that your altar continues to burn with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Remember, you are a living soul mm -hmm. and you are a living altar that should send forth fire, power, anointing, grace to anyone who surrounds you. So, be careful. If you have those people, please just, uh, just separate yourself and then ensure that you be the best friend you can ever be, you can ever have, is Jesus. Yes. He's the best friend. Mm -hmm. The moment you have Jesus as your best friend or your, your best man, then now he will draw to you the man of influence, the man of importance, the man of greatness in your life. Mm -hmm. So we need to check out on this, check on them, measure them, and come with a conclusion to know mm -hmm. who are around. What do you have as you come to the end? Yes, the degree to which you'll rise in life or fall in life mm -hmm. is predicated upon the type of people that surrounds you, the type of altars that surrounds you. Yeah, the only victory that Egyptian or the Israelite had was when they built correct altars that God asked them to do, obedience. Mm -hmm. So if people you're working with are obedient to different altars, that's the same result you'll see in your life, nothing wow. different. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go high in life, align yourself with altars that are highly high-minded. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video and this podcast. Those who are new, may the Lord bless you. Uh, please share to your friends subscribe mm -hmm. give us a comment and a like please don't don't just uh, view and just go please even if you don't drop the comment then just give us a like mm. and more so pray for us we have got a lot to do at the on at hand and we believe god for supernatural supplies mm -hmm. and i know the lord because of of heavenly riches he will use someone somewhere we don't know who, but Lord will be will do something mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. As we be a blessing to you, be a blessing to the work of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. Amen.